What's going on, everybody? This is Ironheart. Welcome back to another episode of Sage MC. Last week, we fought the dragon. This week, we got our asses kicked. All right. Oh, hey, Iron. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Thank you, Iron, for doing that awesome intro. Really appreciate it. Always good having you around for some nice shenanigans and uh, coming to hang out. Always a good time. Really appreciate it. So, everyone, today we are back on Sage server and uh, we've been busy. Well, sort of. We are over here by where we terraformed this the last episode. Uh, I came in through and did some texturing, some details, leveled things out a little bit. Got in the green and everything. Ignore this. I, I I got a beacon. Just my beacon's hiding underneath here. So that's just so I don't lose it. But yeah, this turned out really, really, really well. Thank you again to Comic for giving me some helpful tips. I actually did this in Discord just hanging out. And uh, if we look here too, whoop, that's not the uh, button here. So it actually turned out super super well and i was really really happy with it and on top here uh, i'm sure you saw we got all these chests with all the colors we are actually selling concrete um it's one of our main exports believe it or not um and so got that this is officially up for sale if it's got an ender chest it's up for sale 100 percent. and so yeah got this on the go this is just temporary for now um i'll probably keep this part after for concrete powder instead but um this big cliff face here let's uh out a little ways here so we've got our line of concrete right here that's our temporary shop this cliff face here is going to be the actual concrete shop. I got something big designed for it. It's going to take a lot of time to get it all uh, situated, but that is kind of the plan for this area over here. We should also check the Church of Geode, see what's going on here. Uh, we'll check the barrel. I had a little bit of an incident. Um, a creeper came in from that cave up there blew up Frankie while he was trying to do some shopping. So, sorry about that, Frankie. But it's all good now. We've dealt with all the light levels. Damage was uh, minimal. So, oh, hello. This must have been from Frankie. Well, let's take these. No, these uh, amethyst buds I'm actually giving away for free. They're such a pain to try and get like full stacks of the each of each sides of them. So I was like, whatever, I'll just whatever I have, they can have them. This is the full size cluster, though. All right, uh, amethyst blocks. All right, and die right now. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're actually uh, hanging out at the base here, and I want to if i come over here to our storage area you're gonna make it yes come through our uh beautiful redstone door ah home sweet home we're actually going to work on at the storage room today so i've moved most of the chest monster from our little cave over there over to here and uh, I've got, I'm going to kind of turn all these little nodules into something. So uh, without further ado, let's do that and hopefully get kind of organized. Cue the music.
let's take another look through here and we'll kind of go through each one and I, as i was thinking about it we got them all done most of them we'll, we'll we'll touch on that in a second this one a couple enchanting tables books and whatnot we still get 30 levels on our enchanting table candles smithing tables and the crying obsidian i really really enjoy how that looked uh the nether i kind of wanted to make my own little nether biome transition so we got the, the nether bricks and the bones kind of everything all in here when we came to the end i actually tweaked this a little bit i'll put a frog light in here underneath just kind of help light things up a little bit and we got our spare wings some heads everything and related so i didn't really go with stuff all individually sorted i just kind of went by what the theme was i think so this one is all tools and gear and armor axe on the table i tried to do like a hanging sword up top and then a sword in you know kind of stabbed into the anvil here using the end rod uh over here we just kind of have a large utility room extra storage got a little map of our area all the job blocks we should need this chest up here is where we're keeping all of our various heads i'm trying to collect these these are going to come in really 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 handy later um but for now they're just kind of going up and into a chest of our concretificator which i'm pretty sure i've showed off before super helpful uh, as we have the concrete shop this one is all mob drops and i just kind of made it look like almost like a little dungeon cut the spider webs and the iron bars and the mossy stone and it's just mob drops in every capacity or uh, kind of mob related items i i don't really know i just kind of I, ne I needed a space for these <laughs> that's just where they ended up was just in this chest so uh this is stuff for a build later I've been collecting, trying to collect one of every music disc. This is empty shulker boxes. Uh, these two I'm actually going to eventually turn into rooms. Our redstone door here will eventually get an upgrade. I'm going to have kind of a vertical door, vault door, so you hit a button and it, it goes kind of like a flying machine down. And then you walk through and then it'll you hit a button on the other side and it'll go and flying machine back up um that is in the future i'm going to learn how to do that first of all and then i have to build it and then yeah it's so that's why these two sections are unfinished right now because i might have to dig in here and figure figure stuff out uh, this is just a bulk storage. Um, it is silent. Uh, I will see. I will find the video that I got it from uh, and link that in the description. I forget who it was exactly. Um, but yeah, he designed this. I'm just throwing this bulk stuff. I'm not actually overly sorting it and then uh over here this is all our woods kind of greens let's see what do we got axolotl in here yeah green blocks plants etc manufactured wood blocks and then uh just regular logs so that is that uh i got the the spore blossoms for the greeny effect you can kind of see and yeah and if we turn on shaders oh this this room each area kind of pops in in its own way it's all kind of got its own little bits of light bits of aesthetic that help it through the roof uh obviously is not finished uh, i don't really know what i would want to do with this i did want to do originally something with a cyan glazed terracotta um my only problem with it is whatever design you do, like with the terracotta, it's all got this creeper face on it. I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of the creeper face, but I have it and it might just be something that I, that I work with. So if you guys have any, any ideas 
for the roof. Um, let me know, leave a comment, and I will try and incorporate that into getting this finished properly. So I have to say, I absolutely love how this room turned out. Uh, what was that? Hello? All right, we gotta go check this out. It definitely came from above us. Uh, okay. What the heck? Um, 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 get out. I don't, I don't. is this where why I don't I don't understand I don't I don't understand okay this is we'll have to do We'll have to do some research. We'll have to do some digging, figuring out what's going on here. But like this, I don't know where this would have come from. I, 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 I I'm just at a loss for words. Um, I, I, I guess this, this will do it, and and we'll do some digging and figure out what's going on. So. Uh, un until next time, um, don't, don't get crushed by spaceships, I guess. Okay, goodbye!